Hello, I'm going to show you how to do an XP staple fastener install using XP lock. The reason why we use XP lock is in rubber applied belt, we want to control belt growth and belt ripple. Here you can see with the XP lock, we have a nice uniform install. When installing in rubber applied belt and no XP lock, you can see we can't control that belt growth and belt ripple and it creates problem areas. So now when we join the two belt ends together, it's going to become more difficult to do that. Let's go ahead and do an XP lock install. Here I've already set up the belt and fasteners as we would a normal install. However, when using XP lock, we want to make sure we load the fasteners and belt on the right side of the bed, leaving two to three open H holes, as you see here. And then we're going to take our tensioning block and insert it into the bed. Making sure that we take our tensioning wheel and turn that all the way backwards. And then we have our end block to insert on the other end. We're going to take the wire and we're going to feed it through the tensioning block. We're going to go over the belt and under the fastener and insert it into the end block. And then we're going to tighten the thumb screws. We're going to hand tighten them making sure we don't use a tool to tighten that. And then we're going to set the end block two to three holes from the end of the belt. We're going to pull the wire tight onto the belt, making sure the tensioning block wheel is all the way forward, and then we're going to tighten the thumb screws on the tensioning block. Once again, making sure we only hand tighten them and don't use a tool. I'm going to make sure the wire is lined up between the staple holes of the fastener. And then tension the tensioning block until we feel tension on the wire and we can't turn the wheel anymore. Once again, making sure we don't use a hand tool. And now we're going to see that the wire is tensioned tight against the belt. From here, we can go ahead and choose which XP applicator tool we want to install the belt as we would a normal installation. After the installation is complete, we'll use our wire cutters to cut the excess wire on each belt end. And then for each block, we'll loosen the thumb screws and pull the excess wire out. and our installation is complete.